this side rahul wagan here as a group chief executive officer trishi consulting and also a venture capitalist as we speak trishi consulting is a multinational headquartered group based out india singapore and hong kong we never claim to be a unicorn but we are a 100% cash rich group which practically means that all the legal entities of treasury consulting are 100% profitable we are a multinational hedge fund which practically means we are taking exposure in equities commodities currencies and many other asset classes but like i repeated many times i do take an exposure but as a proprietary hedge fund now by proprietary hedge fund i mean that no private equity venture capitalist or anyone can invest in our hedge fund that is something which is very important and we need to learn as we speak say per se we have taken and you know a uh, position of 100 dollars then in the complete 100 dollar no one can invest it no one invested a single dollar this is what i would like to convey today i would like to cover a very important topic which is the types of job in investment banking and especially after 2020 so a lot has changed after 2020 because after 2020 the world witnessed corona because of corona millions of people died offices went offline in fact banks who dare no never dreamt of having work from home they also started working from home as we speak in april 2022 corona is still there and many countries of the globe just like we have hong kong europe now united states they started witnessing the new variant so investment banking has changed now investment banking has changed in many ways now for a while if we exclude corona when in 2007 i started my career as a corporate treasurer then the investment banking was brick and mortar now what the hell is brick and mortar now brick and mortar means there were four people in the investment banking number one the relationship manager who the hell is relationship manager now relationship manager means a person who used to work with a tie clean shave gucci coat vachase coat expensive thing his job is only to make the relationship as simple as that second is the actual is the person who actually works on the team who actually works on a deal probably lo known as a person who create a term sheet so let me take a simplistic example i again repeat this is a simplistic example amazon very recently said that they want to have near about 13 billion worth of bond so i am not debating whether they need bond or they do not need bond let the amazon decide of course 13 billion is a big amount common sense so amazon needs very good investment bankers who can work for amazon let's hypothetically assume that they end up having two goldman jp morgan hypothetically so there are four kind of people who used to work in goldman and jp morgan number one is the relationship people coat tie you know second is the person who creates a term sheet who use the brain like this is the syndication we can create this much level of interest the the you know the amazon would be paying 
they looking for to have a 40 year funding but it would be tough to provide the rate they are talking in a pre mandate period do they need a revolver clause we need to agree can it be possible for goldman to have a revolver clause so all mathematics needs to be done in a term sheet please use a word mathematics third is a person who is known as valuer valuer is the person who actually link the balance sheet with that mathematics and he is a very important person he links that with with weight goldman currently have 2 billion of book would it be possible for goldman to have this funding what would be the impact on eps earning per share what would be the impact on basic eps what would be the impact on adjusted eps what would if amazon default how much credit spread cba we need to add how many banks we have in syndicate five what are their balance sheets what are their credit ratings how much is the cva we need to carry in our books how much is the dva of goldman sachs himself what would if goldman sachs default the whole mathematics and link with the balance sheet he is always the key person as far as the investment banking is concerned but they never come public so don't expect they going to have a varchase suit they going to have a gucci tie they would be having expensive you know shoes they are like me simple t-shirt shave no shave hardly matters they only come one or two meetings and they explain the whole mathematics to the management that guys if goldman get a pre mandate then this is how the balance sheet of the goldman look like and this is how we need to work assuming goldman is pitching for that team as you said fourth and another interesting person in the game is the regulatory expert so he will do the regulatory wait 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 we can't have 40 year bond because currently securities and exchange commission is not okay with the 40 year funding wait is he looking for sfr or is he looking for some another benchmark rate wait if amazon is looking for 40 year funding then as per mifid second market in financial instrument directive second this would be the impact wait if goldman will provide this funding for a while assume then frtb which is coming in 2023 not far then according to fundamental review of trading book this would be the impact in the balance sheet wait as per basel 3 this is the adjusted capital we need to fit into the picture but unfortunately the pillar 3 disclosures will change are we okay with this and there are many question he will put practically speaking there are three people we have in the world of investment banking number one is definitely the term sheet expert a person who make a term sheet by making a term sheet he tells to people that guys it's kind of pre mandate work so i have a paper that he will say that guy this is a term sheet you can refer the clause if amazon is more or less okay with the term sheet assuming they will sign the term sheet if they having some discomfort they will not sign the term sheet similar is of jp morgan jp morgan will also have a term sheet expert they would be presenting their term sheet if they will feel okay it's you know if amazon feel okay they going to sign it if amazon feel no i'm not okay they going to exclude this okay another is a valuer the key person basically who link the balance sheet with the term sheet or basically his approach is holistic his approach is not a bird eye view his approach is holistic that if goldman will get this deal or alternatively goldman is looking to have this deal then goldman balance sheet would look like this because guys 
in investment banking and especially in syndication when we speak about syndication gone are the days when the people who used to arrange syndication they were not having any exposure no gone are the days now the people who used to arrange syndication they also have an exposure so practically speaking they need to see their balance sheet third is the person who is a regulatory expert we need to see everything from a regulatory angle just like whether this is possible whether this is possible whether this is possible you know whether as far as the market in financial instrument directive second is possible as far as the a fundamental review of trading is a fundamental review of trading book is possible and so on and so forth so all the young guns in my parlance those who are looking forward to have an investment banking career i repeat those who are looking to have an investment banking career they need to decide carefully where they want it to be because after corona and god knows maybe another variant is coming or whether the variant is not coming we have no idea right let it be honest the first person role which is the relationship manager gucci shoes gucci tie vachase coat and all these kind of expensive thing jobs are over because now everything is online they have their apps but the biggest question is the people who wanted to be investment banking they even do not know what are the three type of term sheets i open a challenge what are the three types of term sheet so i give you a question assuming goldman is desperately trying for this deal amazon bond deal what are the three types of term sheet goldman can put on the table this is rahul magan from trishi consulting group you knew my number 9899242978 Nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. Remember, 